We are talking about choices in this episode of Are That Place in Praise? But before I dive into a deeper discussion on life, let's get technical first and talk about negative painting using acrylic. Hi, this is Ginger, your host, and this typography is what I'll teach you how to make. In creating this funny coat on canvas, I'll be using a technique called negative painting. If that sounds like artistic jargon to you, let me explain it a bit. Negative painting happens when you paint on negative space. Hold on, that didn't make it any clearer, right? Uh, it's like explaining jargon with another jargon. Well, basically, in negative painting, we focus on coloring the background instead of the subject itself. What we want to do is to define the boundaries and form the shapes of the letters, not by painting the letters themselves, but by coloring all the spaces outside of the letters, outside of the ribbons, frames, and borders that I have here on the canvas. For this quotation, I want to create a chalkboard effect where the entire background is black and the chalk writing is white. I'll take advantage of the gessoed whiteness of the canvas and just cover everything else with Liquitex black acrylic paint. Now, you might ask me why I'm making it more difficult for myself by painting all around the... I mean, uh, I'm not touching the actual fonts and frames and flourishes. I'm just working my, my brush around it. Some of you might approach this project differently by just painting the entire canvas with black and instead of just portions of it. And then you might prefer to just write over the black background using white paint. Actually, you can do that if that would be easier for you, but there's a bit of a caveat if you do that. Bear in mind that unless you have a professional quality paint or a heavy bodied acrylic, the white paint you buy might be translucent. If your white paint is not opaque enough, painting white on black will just produce grayish tones. And I want to avoid that, so I prefer to use a negative painting technique for this project. For my borders and shapes to pop out in this painting, I kind of have to imagine all, that, all the lines here that I drew with my pencil. They should at least be 3 millimeters thick. It can be thicker than that, but uh, what, what I just mean is that I have to leave that much width of white space for all the lines I scribbled here. So you, you can see, you can watch how I'm careful not to paint too close to the pencil marks. Later, I'll erase these pencil scribbles, but since it's actually difficult to fully erase graphite on canvas, I'll, I'll have to cover this mess with white paint. I'll be using a Liquitex white acrylic paint for that. I'll also use the white paint to clean up the edges of my typography so that the coat looks sharper and more readable. This quotation was given to me by a dear friend and I actually find it so hilarious. It says, life is made of choices. Remove your shoes or scrub my floor is a perfect sign to hang on your front porch by your door. I had a good laugh actually when I first read this, but while working on the painting, I got down into thinking about the real choices we make. And I'm not just talking about whether or not visitors should drag their shoes into your house. I ended up reflecting on some pretty serious choices we made in 2020. Many of us didn't choose the pandemic, of course not. No one voluntarily chose the lockdown, nor the cabin fever that resulted from social separation. We didn't choose any of the consequences that COVID forced upon our old normal, whether it was a lost employment, compromised health, or even death. We didn't choose any of that. But here's one thing we shouldn't forget can still choose. We actually have power to choose joy. We can choose our reactions and keep a steady disposition in spite of the catastrophe we just faced. 
It's written in scriptures. Rejoice always. That doesn't mean we should always be happy and laugh like mindless, crazy people. Rejoicing means that we continue to offer our worship to God, no matter how bitter our stories are or what tear-jerking circumstance traps us. Because the core of the matter is this: our love for God doesn't depend on our comfort. Our worship shouldn't be just a reaction to the gifts and favors we received, or the life of convenience we've been blessed with. We can choose joy. We can be intentional in worship, even in hard times, because we know there's something bigger than ourselves that God is working to build. Something bigger than the pandemic. Something more eternal in reach than the trials of our present earthly days. So as we wrap up this year, let's reminisce. 2020 may go down in history books as the modern dark ages or as a time of great evil, but let's look back instead and count our blessings. Count the hours we spent with our children at home. Count the dinner times you finally spent with your teenager. Count the kindness of your neighbor who maybe. Sent you a bag of groceries after you you were terminated from your job. Count the difficulties of homeschooling your kids, even when you know nothing about math or science. Because at the very least, your kids are alive, and they are with you, and they're not hooked up in respirators in hospital fighting for every breath. So let's be grateful. For the isolation, and use it as a perfect time for prayers and introspection about what matters more in life. As this acrylic painting says, life is made of choices. So, friends, for 2021, let's be intentional. Let's choose joy. Let's adopt a mindset of gratitude, and let's deepen family time and build stronger foundations in our marriage. Together, let's choose grace. Let's choose kindness. Let's choose love.
Friends, thank you for joining me in this episode of Our That Place and Praise. Thank you for supporting this channel and allowing it to flourish because because of your constant presence, I, I really appreciate your comments, the emails you sent to me and the questions you asked. I really love this growing community. So to all of you, God bless, Merry Christmas, and I hope the new year brings you greater joy.